o r e e h o a h a r m a i Come and join me. You are a bit of a star, aren't you? <laughs> I think so. Maybe not a star quite like this one, though. This is Starfish the Star. The words were written by Elaine Bickle, and the illustrations are by Darren Parton. Look at that star. Would you like a story about a starfish? Well, I'm glad, because this is the one I've got today. <laughs> of your nice and comfy, let's begin. In the salty depths of an aquarium display lived seahorse, jellyfish, clownfish, and ray, along with a creature who looked quite bizarre because he was shaped just like a star. Can you see starfish? Hmm, here's clownfish. Seahorse, jellyfish, and ray, a stingray. Starfish had recently made up his mind. He was really a star of the famous kind. So he spent all his days stuck to the glass, craving the looks of people who passed. Here I am, he would crow. I'm the star of the sea. I know you all came here just to see me. He'd yell at the others, Stop spoiling the view! They haven't come here to see creatures like you. Was that a nice kind of a star? <laughs> no. So life in the tank was always the same. Starfish up the front, longing for fame, and telling others day after day, Please stay at the back and keep out of my way. And the cell phones would flash and the cameras would click as there on the glass at the front he would stick. <laughs> Look at the pictures here and the cell phones. Only of the starfish. His ego grew bigger. He was selfish and proud. Certain he alone had attracted the crowd. But Starfish didn't listen to what people said. Is that all that's in there? How boring. Is it dead? A starfish doesn't move much. It stays in one place. They thought it was dead. Where is the seahorse that I came to see? Or the ray would be better. Don't you agree? The clownfish would be more exciting by far than watching this boring do-nothing star. Look how bright and colourful they are and how much they move around the tank normally. It's a bit hard to tell that in a picture. Then one day something happened. Ray noticed it first. The rock at the back was no longer submersed. Something has changed. How, I don't know. But look at the water. The level looks low. Can you see the rock? It's no longer in the water. It's dry. Uh-oh. Jellyfish was scared. He hid at the back. And that's when he saw it. The tank had a crack. He shivered and quivered and said to his friends, I think we are doomed. I think it's the end. Stay calm, everyone. Don't panic, said Ray. I think I know how to save our display. Starfish, we need you to come to the back. Stick to the glass and cover that crack. Do you think Starfish will go to the back of the tank? The back, said the starfish. The star at the back. Hold on, I'm having a panic attack. How will they see me? I cannot delight at the back in the dark. Me? Out of sight? Please, trembled jellyfish. You must help us quick. You're the only one here who knows 
how to stick. Starfish stick well, don't they? Where these other creatures here all float and swim and glide and move around the tank. So Starfish unstuck from the glass with a grunt. For the very first time, he left the tank front. He made his way past the weed to the back, out of the lights and into the black. The crack was quite long. The drip was not slow. Starfish must hurry to stop the fast flow. Wow, Starfish did go to the back of the tank. I hope he can save them. And so Starfish did it. With amazing technique, he covered the crack and blocked up the leak. Starfish, you saved us. Do you know what you are? A hero, a wonder, a genuine star. He is, isn't he? What a hero. He's covered the crack and stopped the leak. Phew. The very next day, the tank was repaired and Starfish's achievement began to be shared. Within hours, he'd become a viral sensation and with it came global fan adoration. Selfies with the star became all the rage. People queued for hours to post to their page. <laughs> Look, all the photos with the starfish star. From then on, the tank was never the same. Starfish had got what he wanted, great fame. And he had learnt it's not the shape that you are, it's the things that you do that make you a star. Do you know that you can be a star? It doesn't matter what you look like, it's what you do. When you help out around the house, you're a star to your folks. When you work hard at school, you're a star to your teachers. When you come and visit me, you are a star because I love having company and I love it when you come to visit me. If you want to find out more about Starfish the Star by Elaine Bickle and Darren Parton, visit scholastic.co.nz. And Star, will you come and visit me again soon? I'll find us another wonderful story we can read together. Have a wonderful day. Be the star that you are. Goodbye, my friends.